Hello, <clears throat> I just recently posted a video with, um, it's like over seven minutes long, and it has a little backstory about, um, how this, um, journey was led to be in the airport, and I just wanted to say that even though I've been in the airport for a good amount of time, God has strategically had me stay at the airport because if not I would have been on the street and um, a couple nights ago like or a few nights ago I was on the street and then a couple nights ago sorry um, so on the second that's when I did a six mile walk because I was following the example of the four lepers um, in the Bible in 2 Kings um, 7, 3 through 20. And so then two nights before that, on the 31st to the 1st, I was actually out on the street um, in the, like, well, in, like, on a bench. But I learned later on that that was a very dangerous part, and God protected me in that. Um, so he even strategically put me on that exact bench. And um, so this time he has strategically had me in the airport, um, hanging out, praying, um, praising God, worshiping God. I've been quoting scriptures, um, uh, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. And numbers 1923 those are the ones that I'm like clinging on to um, and Nam 1 7 and um, God is a strong tower for those who are in trouble and he's close to those who need him and that, that's a very good verse. So if you are going through adversity, um, you know, sometimes seeing how strategic God is, um, that, that also helps to, to kind of, so that you're not in your feelings. Because like there, there will be days or there will be moments or there will be minutes or a couple hours that you will be in your feelings because we are only human, and we are doing the best that we can do, and God trains us to become better, and God provides. Um, I have gotten to eat breakfast and lunch today because of Angelica that she has um, given, that God led her to give me $100. So, and, and also make sure like when you are in lack, when you don't have a lot of money, tithe and sow. Because when we tithe and sow in lack, um, we are giving back to God what he has so generously given to us. And we are not withholding him from him. So he's not going to withhold from us. And it's going to be a journey, um, but life is a journey. And um, so thank you guys for listening. And remember, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Thank you.